Matt from Atlas here. Got some exciting new HO and N scale products to show you. Behind me, we got a little uh, test shot of the MP36s. These are slated to arrive in May, early first, second quarter of this year. Same story with our Metro passenger cars. These are also uh, April May delivery. So hopefully we get both these same time arrival for you guys. Really excited about these cars. Later on I'm going to show you a lit one on the layout. We'll move over here. This is uh, what a lot of people are waiting for. The HO scale T box. So we have our first decorated sample. Really nice printing on these. Awesome. These are the, by far the most common modern box car. Everybody's going to need one of these for their layout. These are actually uh, coming in in a few weeks. They're on the water now in a container. So the long-awaited tea boxes are finally arriving. To go along with our tea box, we have the BMSF version with the single plug door, as well as without the waffle sides. So this adds a nice variation for all you modern freight guys out there. And another exciting new arrival are the U28Cs and we see the Ashcan emergency light up top here specific for Southern Pacific as well as the Southern Pacific Bell in the back as well as a gyro light on the nose. So ST modelers have a really pro, like road specific model now for their U28Cs. So we have acquired the Point St. Charles caboose from True Line Trains. Really excited about this acquisition. I know our Canadian modelers, even guys in the Midwest, anywhere where CN roams, they want this caboose. And this is an ultra detailed caboose. Everybody loves this thing. So, probably going to make an announcement. I'd say maybe our next catalog or summer catalog. We'll have some paint schemes for you to pre order. So, we just want to tell everybody we have it. I'm really excited about it. As well as the mini box. So, for all our Canadian friends, can't get enough mini boxes. Okay. Alright, I got some brand new HO viaducts for you guys. Single track, double track. We have the cut stone model here. We also have a concrete variation as well as a rough cut stone. These are, we're taking orders on them now, our new catalog, our winter all HO and N scale catalog. You'll find it in there. We got pre production shots of the concrete one. I know that's one's very popular. And uh, we're really, really proud to have these because there's no North American specific viaducts out there. Everything's very European. So we're excited to bring these models out to the market. Hey, what do we got? The Thrall all door box cars here. These just arrived in the Atlas Warehouse. They're with dealers now. Some really cool cars. We got the positionable doors. The pro to the schemes. This is also available in two rail for the first time for you two rail guys out there. As well as the F40 PHs are arriving. So we got New Jersey Transit and the scheme where they just got dish lights. Really beautiful model. F40 PH is always everyone's favorite. The Ryzen cars that Ryzen common cars that will pair with these, they're coming later this year. I would say around November we're expecting those. So grab your F40 PHs, get the common cars to go with them. We also have the snow piles. They just came in. They're in the warehouse now. Here's a CN model. The operating wings. Really cool model. So you can push that snow off the rails. As well as the scale test cars. These things are heavy, all die casts. Very cool graphics. Look good near any like service facility or yard you have. You're gonna want to throw one of these in there. And those are our Atlas O arrivals. Hey guys, check out our new MP15s now with ditch lights. These ditch lights are super bright, awesome, prototypical, look gorgeous. Got plenty of these in stock. Very cool. We got the HO Type 8500 cat car here. You can see all the 75 details on the end here. Thank you. 
I'm showing off the new Atlas Collector Series locomotives. So these are based with alternative history locomotives. These are plausible things Santa Fe could have done. So the first locomotive we have here is the yellow bonnet. And we have the blue bonnet down here. These are based off the 70s freight scheme Santa Fe on their, on their F units. So it's, it's a hypothetical because when Santa Fe brought these units back in the 90s, they could have possibly done these schemes. On the next page, we have the BN Bicentennial Hopper. Burlington Northern painted their fleet of hoppers that they got from Great Northern at the same time as the Bicentennial celebrations. So it's a possibility that they decided to maybe wanted to paint one of the Bicentennial scheme. So that's how we came up with these ideas. They're really neat things for collectors or Santa Fe operators or Burlington Northern operators. If you model these railroads or these errors, really cool locomotives and hopper to add to their layout.